<laughs> got a problem, got a need, is your mind in confusion? Got something to fix, looking for a solution. <laughs> Find what you need, gotta go investigate it, think it out, go design, get ready to create it. Get up, get up and go, go take no bastards. Check it in, check it over, try it out, go to test. If the problem is solved, this solution is best. Get up, get up and go, go take no bastards. Yeah, what a day, what a day, what a beautiful day. Don't you guys think so? Yeah. Yep. I mean, sometimes we just don't take the time out to enjoy the finer things in life. I mean, we're always trying to save the world or something. I mean, now you guys know what I mean, right? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ish, guys. Oh, texters! Oh, ah, we almost forgot about you guys. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering what inspired all this today. Well, it just happened to be this one letter that we see from Pumzile, and it goes a little something like this. <laughs> Hi, Techno Bastards. I always watch your show, and I love it. I mean, I like it when you guys make something in the studio, because I also make it when the show is finished. You know what? You go, Pumzile. That is because... Yep, you in the workshop and rereading Pumzile's letter today. And this is what she has to say. I was worrying about the Sinatemba stars and the soccer team. And just wanted to know, I mean, what are they going to drink after a match and during halftime, guys? You know what, Pumzile? I think that is absolutely great. I mean, what do you guys think? Oh, yes, by the way. Guys! I am joined by two more new stars all the way from the Sinatemba Primary School. Give it up, boy! Come here, Londri. I'm to say what's up to the people, guys. Hello! Hello. Yeah, but now I'm going to let you finish this letter. Here we go, Riabet. Sure, no problem. Pumsi says, maybe they can make a drink and sell it to everyone so, that, so they can pay back the people who help them with some raw materials and even make extra money. I asked my mommy and she gave me the recipe for making lemonade. I've put it in here. Pumzile. Glug, 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 glug. <sighs> lemonade it is. Well, my friends and I here in the workshop have already started working on our lemonade recipe, which we will share with you guys later on. Now, this is processing of a different kind, guys. It is processing by extraction. Now, do you guys know what that means? Uh -uh. Now, let me show you, let me show you. If you take this bunch of straws, right, and you remove one, you're extracting it, which basically just means taking out. X. Extract. Extract. To extract is to take out. So processing by extraction is taking something out. To form the finished product or output. Like we take the juice out of an orange to make a drink. Hello, techno busters. Remember the good old days when we'd make our very own fruit juice? <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Maybe I wasn't around back then, and you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Well, this is what I'm talking about. A good old hand squeezer and an orange. And this is how fresh fruit juice was made. By extracting the juice from the fruit. Nowadays, Technology has improved and people are a lot lazier. They rely on machines to make these fresh, tantalizing, tasty juice. Man, am I thirsty. Now let's go talk to some kids and find out if they know anything about extraction and how juice was made. Let's check it out. Extraction, extra action, it means more action. I know, extraction means when you pull out your teeth. <laughs> hang on, hang on. It's when you squeeze the juice out of your fruit, mix it with something else, then put it in bottles, put it in the shop, 
But what does that have to do with extraction? So if you squeeze fruit to get juice, just squeeze cows to get milk? I always drink juice and water, but water has no taste. Let's find out what extraction is and how juice is made. Troopers, boy, you caught me by surprise. I was just about to make myself a cup of tea. And do you know what is happening here in my cup? You see, we use extraction in many ways, and this way is called infusion. 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 Another way of extraction. When we get a final product, that is a mixture of water and another substance. We call this an infusion. But hey, I'm going to be daring. I'm not stopping at infusion. What do you think I'm doing when I add milk? Com bin Asian. Combination. A mixture of two or more ingredients. Mmm, my tea's just the way I like it. Lots of milk and little water. But I also made tea that's perfect for a hot and tired soccer team. Check this out. You will need a litre of boiling water, two rooibos tea bags, a jug to mix in, one litre of pure apple juice and some chopped lemons. Make an infusion of rooibos tea by pouring one litre of boiling water onto two rooibos tea bags. Look how the colouring is being extracted at the same time. The flavour is also extracted. Allow to cool. When cool, mix with one litre pure apple juice. Chill the mixture in the fridge. And serve with a thin slice of lemon. This will give you apple flavoured iced tea, but you can use any fruit juice. And if you like it sweeter, you can add as much sugar as you like to the hot tea. Delicious! I made three different combinations. One with apple juice, one with orange, and one with lemon. Let's test them to see which one will be the best for our team to sell at the tournament. I like the one with the apple flavor. Me too, the lemon one is too sour. Mine has sugar in. It tastes much nicer. Yeah, right. It is nice. That's my favorite too. I suppose I like all of them, but it's nice when it's cold. Well, it sounds like that lemon ice is a winner, hmm? And we've got plenty of lemons where we live. Well, exactly, my friend. That is what processing is all about. It is all about using available resources in making new products. I mean, just like this lemonade recipe that Pumzila was just so kind enough in sharing with us. I mean, she even suggested that our favorite soccer team, the Sinatema Stars, can sell it at the tournament to make more money. Plus, they can even use it for drinks for the players. Now, here's how they went about making it. We started off with... Five washed lemons, 600 grams of sugar, 7 milliliters tartaric acid, and 1 liter of boiling water. Then we used the potato peeler and removed the rind from two of the lemons. And like Cabello showed us here, we squeezed the juice from all the lemons and strained through a sieve. We then placed the lemon rind, juice, sugar, tartaric acid and boiling water into a large bowl and then heated it until all the sugar dissolved. We then kept heating it up until it started to thicken slightly. We then strained it again. 
Then we poured the syrup into the sterilized bottles and sealed them. We served it by diluting one part syrup to two or three parts water. Serve your lemonade ice cold with slices of lemon, mint leaves and crushed ice. Now that, my friends, is how we made lemonade. And this is how we're going to sell it. One, two, three, buy star quality lemonade! Yeah! But for the rest of you Sinatema stars, I hope you guys are having as much fun as we're having right here in the studio and keep processing. But for myself, the workshop, and the rest of the techno busters, until next time, bye! bye. Cheers, guys! <laughs> Come on, let's do it, let's do it! Let's do it, yeah! <laughs>